Hello everybody, welcome to 33JS Concepts Every Developer Should Know. I am your host of the night, Nicolas Seu. This is the concept number six and the name of today's uh, concept is Scope. So scope is a concept that if you learn it, it will make you an amazing developer. And if you don't learn it, it will give you a lot of headaches. So yeah, but because of this, there are many explanations, many websites, many tutorials, many articles, many names, and it's kind of confusing for some people. I, as always, I'm going to try to give you the easiest and shortest explanation of what scope is and how will you find it in your developer life. So scope is basically, do your variables exist or not? That is a scope. Is my variable defined here or is it not defined here? Done, that's a scope. Let me give you a real quick example. I'm gonna make a block real quick. Here I'm gonna do if true, I'm gonna make a variable called hello. Right, and then from the outside, I'm gonna console log hello. I want you to see that in this case, hello is not defined. Look at that beauty, all right? That's a scope. In this case, hello, it's only available on the inside of this block. A block is marked by the curly braces, these two bad boys right here. So if I console log hello, in this case, I will get high and then I will get an error. Because in this case, Hello exists inside, so as you can see, I can console log it, but outside it doesn't exist. And that's just a scope for you. Where are my variables defined? Can I access them or I cannot access them? That's a scope. Now, the first scope that we all have is global scope. So global scope is this one where anything can access the global scope, okay? You need to remember that. Everything can access the global scope, don't matter where they are. So in this case, I am gonna execute A and let's see if it works. Yeah, so inside of the function a, h is defined, which is good news. But if I define something inside of the function a, and then I wanna console log, it is not going to work. So there you go, that's your best example of scope. Um, my variables are accessible from big too small. So for example, the global scope has const h equals hello, done. Then we have a function which is a. Imagine that a function makes like a bubble. Actually, these curly braces make a bubble. So the curly braces make a bubble. Now this bubble has access to the mother bubble, but the mother bubble doesn't have access to the small bubble. I wanna say bubble, bubble like a hundred times. So as you can see here, I can access from a to the global scope, but I cannot access from global scope to the function A, to this block. That's a scope for you, very, very, very simple, all right? So everything works like this um, on JavaScript. The, before we used to have functional scope uh, with var, so for example, in the previous example that I did, when I did if true, this wouldn't work, but before we used to have var, and with var, this did work. Uh, so just one more example of why you shouldn't use var, all right? But now that we use let and const, let and const are both block scoped, which is that whatever we create with let and const are going to be scoped in the nearest block that they find, which is the curly braces. Understanding this is going to give you such a less pain in your life. If you understand that your variables have bubbles and some here they're defined, outside they're not defined, outside they're not defined, but inside of them are defined, then that will just give you way less trouble. This also applies for, for example, try, do something, and then catch error, for example. Here there is a scope, right? And if you wanna console log the error here, it doesn't work. Just one example. And that's it, that's a scope for you. Of course I didn't go so big. Many people are gonna jump on me and saying, you didn't take this, you didn't talk about this, you didn't talk about that. But that, that's basically it. Are my variables alive? Can I touch them or can I don't touch them? Just remember that. You cannot touch anything from the big to the small. You can always touch from the small to the big. 
So one more example before we go. If I have a variable, if I have a function here, right, and this, and then I have another variable, another function here, and then I have another function here, Jesus, right? You will know that E will be able to access D and B, but B cannot access D and cannot access NN, right? Just like D can access B, but D cannot access N, all right? That's the scope for you. Bubbles everywhere, all right? Uh, what else should I mention? Usually in your professional life, you're going to have to like share the scope or actually you will have to go inside of a bubble and then come out of the bubble with a result. So basically what you do, for example, in this amazing example that I imagine now, let's say that you needed to send to the API, uh, hello, right? So you have a send to the API, hello. This wouldn't work because as you know, hello is not defined. So what you can do to get inside the bubble and then outside of the bubble is that you use the beautiful, beautiful let. And this then will work, right? So instead of send API, let's actually do console log. So I wanna show you that it actually works. We get inside of the bubble and we go outside of the bubble and we do console log hello. Amazing. That's it, that's a scope for you. It, should, it, it shouldn't be so hard. Many people make books and more videos and shit about that. It's not so hard, it's just, these are bubbles and a big bubble cannot touch a small bubble, but a, but a small bubble can touch a big bubble, it's done. Thank you for watching and that's it. Let me know if you like it. Let me know if you hate it. Let me know if I told you something new. I will see you on the next video where we're gonna talk about expressions versus statements. Leave a like, leave a comment. I always reply to all the comments and I always read and translate all the comments. So I actually mean that when I say it. Leave a like, leave a comment, let me know what you think. And that's it. Thank you for watching and stay nice, eat kimchi and enjoy the springtime. Bye-bye.